Hey everyone, here's a demonstration of ESP32s using the ESP Now and ESP Mesh protocol to make networks. Um, so I made these four modules, so let's just start by turning this one on. You can see it turns on, it's at ESP3 using ESP Now, and it shows ESP1, 2, and 4 offline. Um, so let's just turn another one on. So now you can see this one's ESP2. And you, you can see that this one says ESP3 is online, and this one says that ESP2 is online. So they both detect each other. Let's do this one here. This one's ESP4, and you can see just like that, popped on. That one glitched out a little, but it's online, and we can see two online. Finally, let's turn the last one on. I'm actually going to plug it in there because it's going to go into my computer. Um, you could see online for all of them, online for all of them, and they're all online. So now, here's the cool thing. Um, this one is ESP1, so we can talk. Let's try sending a message to ESP2. So if I select 2 and then write, Hi, ESP2, right? And now I'm going to send that. And if we look for ESP2, you could see it says from ESP1, hi ESP2. Now let's send a message to ESP3 um, and write what's up. And here I'll go in on ESP3 before I hit enter. And right away it says what's up. And let's send one to ESP4 and just write hello. Here's ESP4. And from ESP1, hello. So also these, um, the only reason this is plugged into the computer is just so I could use the serial monitor as a keyboard, just as a text input. Um, okay, now what we can do is also multicast. So if we hit five, um, we can multicast. Let's multicast to ESP2 and three. And then let's write, uh, what up? two and three. So you can see ESP three says what up two and three. ESP two is what up two and three. And ESP four is still on its message from before. Finally, we have um, broadcast. So let's just write, hello everyone. I'll go down here. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. So. Um, this is all peer-to-peer, -peer, so this one is um, directly messaging this guy, it's directly messaging this guy, and it's directly messaging this guy. But now, if I shut these all off, and I flip the switches on each, we will now be booting into ESP Mesh. And Mesh is cool because it's a self-healing grid, and it doesn't need to be peer-to-peer. So you can see this is ESP1, I'm using ESP mesh, and it says the root is ESP1 because it's the only one on the network, and the parent is none because it's the only one. So let's turn on this guy here, and it should configure. Um, ESP mesh takes a little longer, but there we go. The root is ESP1, so it's connected to ESP1's network, and its parent is also ESP1, so um, it goes, this guy is on top, it goes to this guy. So now, let's turn this one on. Let's see what we get. So this one's ESP2. Oh, you could see it actually changed the root. So now this guy is the top. Then we go uh, to, let's see. Then we go here, yeah, because you can see the parent is ESP2. And then this one is parent is ESP1. So let's uh, reorganize here. Um, so ESP2 first, then ESP1, then ESP3. Now, let's turn on the last one and see what happens. So it says root is ESP3. Oh, but now it just changed. Its root is ESP2 and its parent is ESP1. So that means it goes between, or it should go right after ESP1 over here. So let's move these around. 
just to show the order. Okay, so now you can see the uh, network tree here. We have ESP2 as the host, or the root. Then this one has the parent, ESP1 has the parent ESP2, so it goes from here to here. Then we go from ESP1, or yeah, from ESP1 to ESP3, and then from ESP3 to ESP4, because you see the parent is ESP3 there. Now, let's see what happens to ESP4 if this one just goes offline. So you can see that goes offline. Um, so this is demonstrating the self-healing properties of the uh, grid. So you could see that it says the parent is ESP3, but we did just shut ESP3 off. So eventually this will figure that out and it'll change its parent. But this usually takes uh, like 15 to 30 seconds for it to uh, fully get back. So I'll wait here until that happens, but it should happen. Oh, there we go. ESP1 is now the parent. So now this is no longer in the equation. And we go ESP2 to ESP1 to ESP4. But let's turn this guy back on. Let's say he came back online. You can see the root says ESP3. The parent is none, but right away it detects. So now the root is ESP2 and the parent is ESP1 just like before. And did this one change? Uh, yes, you could see the root is ESP2 and the parent is ESP3. So now this one is back in the uh, system. And there is um, um, unicast, multicast, and broadcast with these as well to send messages. I'll just do a broadcast um, to keep it simple. I'll just write, thanks for watching. And I'll hit enter and I'll watch this guy. There you go. Thanks for a message from ESP1. Thanks for watching. And you could see, oh, this one's ESP1, so he didn't receive it, but you could see everyone received the message. And what's cool about ESP Mesh is that that message is to get from um, ESP1 to ESP4. That didn't send directly from ESP1. It actually sent through ESP3 and then to ESP1. So since it's not a direct connection, but this is a mesh network, uh, it automatically organizes like that. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.